I'm sure Sean Nahouse will want her to be doing. You know, it's, it, you don't want your centre forward checking all the way. You can see now she's got to get a lot of, like, yeah. make up a lot of ground. And she's there, to be fair to her. She's making a run. Long distance shot! Wow, that came out of nowhere. Great pressure on the ball and guile. Swanson with the corner for Chicago. Oh, and a miss hit right in front of goal. And it's there. It is there for Chicago. And Yuki Nagasato opening the scoring on the opening day of the NWSL season in 2023. What a start for Chris Petroselli's side. But a horrible moment in the San Diego defense. This Stoney really relies on one of the first names on the team sheet. San Diego head coach. She said she's the chillest person you'll ever meet. Well, an Australian I'm chilled out, you sure? I know, right? But she just is so thrilled she's on the squad. Here San Diego. Chicago haven't cleared the ball. Almost a horrible error. For San Diego, it was not long in coming. And Amira Ali with the goal. And Casey Stoney's side are level. Corner for San Diego. Looking to come from behind. Shaw with a strike. And what a strike it was as well. Jaden Shaw. San Diego coming from behind. And now to the snapdragon Casey Stoney's side are flying from the penalty spot she scored two out of three for Chicago in 2022 what can she do here Ari Swanson up against Kaylin Sheridan this to draw Chicago level before half time Swanson does it. It's 2-2. And what a topsy-turvy first half we've had. Mallory Swanson. It is Alex Morgan stepping up against Alyssa Nair. This potentially for three huge, huge points. It's Morgan. And she finds the bottom corner. Alex Morgan delivers once again. The Snapdragon Stadium goes wild. New look kit for Spirit this season. New crest, new colours, moving away from the traditional red and blue. A little bit of black, isn't there? Yeah. In the NWSL. Kits wise. Now here comes Trinity Rodman. He takes on the early shot. Oh, and it's there. Oh, what a strike. What a finish from the player who has lit up this game. Fabulous opening goal from such a talented player. And Audi Field absolutely delighted. For some reason, they never seem to reach the heights that they should. And I, and I touched upon that with Seb earlier in the week as well when we had our coach call. And I was saying they need to do better because they've had so much quality over the years. Sydney LaRue, Ali Krieger, Ashton Harris. Yeah, this Alex goes Morgan. on. Alex yeah. Morgan. And they just never seem to achieve anywhere near the levels. And that's not down to the players. Rico will find Pistol Dunn with her speed. She's able to get to that ball somehow. Sugita's cross. Sinclair, shot saved, rebound, goal! Weaver is in the right place for Portland. Anna Morehouse, if I was Anna Morehouse here, I'd be so disappointed in my defense. Krika. Go to halfway line, Dunn, that's blocked. We go back for Crystal Dunn. Amazing talent and a super mom. Three months and 20 days after giving birth to son Marcel, Crystal Dunn came back on the field to play. Absolutely unreal. Real super mom, real superhuman, and a fantastic player. And they're so 
lucky that she's back so quickly. Yeah. But that's testimony to her. She trained throughout, from what I can tell, and, and it's brilliant the fact that she was back on the field of play. And she's such. She's even added. Oh, off a block. Sinclair cutting it back. Two nothing. Sophia Smith. Well played, Christine Sinclair again. Gets the ball down the left-hand side and a beautiful cutback. You can see why she was appealing for it because, again, there was no options. Smith from Weaver. Sophia Smith looking, shooting. Bob Owen in front, and there's the third goal. Sugita. It was almost a carbon copy of the first goal. JP, I think Anna Morehouse has to do better there, I think, in the first goal in the first half. I said she got a really good hand to it, maybe could have got a stronger hand. Sugita, one goal for Sugita. Whoa. Absolutely. I, I had no words for that. I just stopped. That, that was, was brilliant. Incredible. Brilliant from Sugita. Brilliant play. Again, numbers forward. Smith leading the way. Plays it in front. Goal for nothing. Vasconcelos, the sub, is on the board. The hoops they had to jump through to be able to pick her as number one. Such a high ceiling, Jackie, and uh, we can see her, her ability to take on 1v1 and get faced up, but it really comes down to her just being able to, to freeze the def defenders and then be able to explode past them. A good hold up play as well. Offers a bit of versatility because she can play anywhere on the front line. Here is Thompson, so, so positive, so positive, and she scored! What an extraordinary moment! Alyssa Thompson, barely 11 minutes into her senior professional debut, and look at the joy on her face. Midge Purse against Didi Haricic. And that's the equaliser, and it is a wonderful strike from Midge Purse. Didi Haricic with absolutely no chance of saving that, and it's one all in Los Angeles. But why not? If, if you're Lynn Williams, you can hit from that distance. Tess Haricic from, from outside the box. But those are the opportunities they're going to have to continue to look for if you're Gotham. Staying compact defensively, allowing for Angel City to have some of the possession, open up the space in behind and then look to hit him on the break. Here they come again, Gotham. Here's Midge Purse looking to go herself. Instead, it's Williams. Williams with a strike. And what a fabulous goal by Lynn Williams. And Gotham have turned this game on its head. Lynn Williams with a debut goal for Juan Carlos Amoros' side. And Angel City are stunned.